Superfood Evolution presents Miso Paste and Miso Soup The Top 11 Basics Number 1. What is Miso? Miso is a type of salty, fermented bean paste customarily made with soybeans, salt, and a culture starter called koji. While it is a popular condiment staple in Japanese cuisine, it is also used extensively in all parts of East and Southeast Asia, especially China, Korea, Vietnam, and Indonesia. After a fermentation period, usually between several months to one year, the cooked beans develop a robust umami flavor and earthy shoyu-like aroma. Number two, is all miso soy-based? Yes, soybean is the main bean used in traditionally prepared miso and sold commercially on a large scale. However, some people today are less attracted to eating soy-based products because of their soy isoflavones and phytoestrogen content. The good news is that miso paste can be made from other beans, not just soy. While these are less common in Asian markets, a few modern American-style miso brands provide for this demand using legumes like garbanzo, azuki, and black beans. Number 3. Miso Paste Nutrition The ingredients used to make miso are nutritionally enhanced after fermentation, providing many of the benefits that fermented foods have to offer. This is only true for commercial products that are unpasteurized, which most misos currently are. Miso paste is full of beneficial probiotic lactic acid bacteria and very high in enzymes. These components can aid digestion, encourage bowel regularity, and support a healthy gut microbiome. The fermented paste is considered a live active food that is sensitive to high heat. So steps are usually taken to avoid overheating, which will destroy valuable nutrients. The nutritional components of the beans and other ingredients used are essentially pre-digested due to the fermentation process, making them more bioavailable. Most types are sources of minerals, amino acids, choline, vitamin K, and B vitamins. Number four, how to make miso soup, miso shuru. Miso paste is most popular for use in the classic miso soup, usually served with other ingredients like cubed tofu, green onions, shiitake, and seaweed, but there are many optional variations depending on cultural and or personal preferences. Miso soup, called miso shuru, is a Japanese tradition. It is customarily prepared by adding the paste at the last minute to a dashi stock. This is to preserve its integrity as a fermented food. Basically, the liquid is never heated unnecessarily and kept well below a boiling temperature, typically around 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The dashi stock is commonly composed of two ingredients, kombu or kelp seaweed and dried bonito fish flakes. When the soft miso paste is mashed into the dashi stock and dissolves, it produces the cloud-like effect that miso soup is known for. Usually about two to three tablespoons of miso paste is suitable for one quart of liquid, but this is of course contingent on personal taste. Number five, other ways to use miso. Miso can be used to add an umami salty flavor to most any type of soup, stew, or vegetable stock. The paste also makes a great base for spreads, sauces, or marinades. Its robust, dense flavor goes well in salad dressings, sweet and sour dipping sauces for sushi, homemade barbecue sauce, and curry paste. One of the original ways to use miso was as a condiment dollop stirred into grains or with other foods. It can be used as a salt replacement in many types of dishes and recipes. Number six, history of miso. The origin of miso dates back thousands of years and has a very interwoven history with other ferments produced in both China and Japan, such as shi and kokusho. The paste-like version of miso we know today was further developed and perfected by the Japanese. By the Edo period, 1603 to 1868, the use of miso paste was common in many households and homemade miso variations 
were spread across many diverse regions of Japan. They were the first to use it as a paste in soup broth, inventing the classic miso soup varieties. The macrobiotic health movement, which was popularized by Japanese teacher George Osawa in the 1960s, played a significant role in introducing miso to the Western world. Number 7. Types of Miso Paste Preparing miso is an artisan craft, like making fine wine, and East Asian cultures are the miso masters. The methods and ingredients used can vary considerably depending on the type of miso and regional style. Regular miso is by far the most common variety and is fermented with different types of koji substrate, either rice, barley, or soybean. The rice kome variety accounts for nearly 80% of all miso paste consumed. The two most common types are white miso and red miso. Number eight. Short-term miso versus long-term miso. Miso's fermentation period may differ greatly, depending on variety, and is often evaluated according to how long it has aged. Short-term miso, like white miso, is cultured between two to eight weeks and has a sweeter flavor and light color. Long-term miso, like red miso, is aged a minimum of six months, but can extend to three years or even longer. These types are typically a much darker red-brown color. Generally, the longer ferments can develop much richer taste and unique flavor profiles, a bit like when aging wine or cheese. Likewise, these long-term misos are also known to have greater health-supporting compounds. Number nine, famed health benefit of miso soup. Although not completely evidenced by science, Miso soup is famous for its reputation at reducing acute radiation-induced illnesses. This was first observed in the 1945 Nagasaki bombing in Japan by Dr. Akazuki, working at St. Francis Hospital just 1.4 kilometers from the hypocenter. While seaweeds in the soup can also offer this influence, it is believed that substances produced during miso fermentation are closely related to its radioprotective support. According to research on mice, this potential is believed to be more prominent in long-term miso ferments. In addition, miso soup and its concentrated substances is suggested to be most helpful when already present in the body before exposure. Number 10. Making Homemade Miso Paste We have been making our own red miso for well over 15 years from garbanzo and black bean instead of soy. All miso uses a koji starter, which is the essential ingredient required to make homemade miso. This is steamed grain, usually rice or barley, that is inoculated with the aspergillus or a mold culture needed for the fermentation process. In the US, you can buy it from online suppliers or at some Asian markets. Making the miso itself is a fairly simple process, using minimal ingredients. It can be made in a professional fermentation crock using weights, or in any type of large gallon glass jar or crock-like vessel. The basic ingredients include cooked beans, rice koji, a small amount of mature miso, bean broth, and sea salt. The hardest part when making do-it-yourself miso is the waiting period. We recommend at least six months, but in our experience, a one or two year miso is the best in taste quality. Number 11, the cons of miso. One of the obvious cons about eating too much miso is that it's a high sodium food. According to nutrition fact labels taken from popular organic American brands, salt content can range from 230 milligrams per one teaspoon to 830 milligrams per one tablespoon. There have been some scientific reviews reporting that the salt content in miso may not increase blood pressure when compared to its salt equivalent. Nevertheless, while it's presumably better than straight refined table salt, it should generally be avoided on no salt diets. For more on how to make do-it-yourself homemade miso paste, visit the card above or links in the description box below this video. Precautions. Consult your healthcare professional before adding miso to the diet if you are pregnant, 
nursing, taking any medication, or have a medical condition. Thanks for watching! For much more on miso, as well as links to miso making supplies, be sure and check out the description box below this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure and check out these other informational videos.